Well, good day, my friends. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion. How are you all doing today? I hope you said great. Today, we're coming to you from Ocala, Florida, and more specifically, Vintage Toy Universe. You know how I found out about this? It's like kind of a crazy story, but the reason I wanted to come here is I'd heard such great things about this place that they had good prices on kind of new and old toys, but when I moved into my house about three years ago, I found online, it was kind of crazy, this place was selling, they had hosted a meet and greet with Brutus the Barber Beefcake the Wrestler and they had made a big backdrop of the barber shop that was seen on TV when Shawn Michaels kicked Marty Jannetty through there. They had actually recreated that, used it for the signing and were selling it and it was signed. So I have it in my house now in my garage. And ever since I got that, I wanted to check this place out. So I thought this would be the perfect day to do it. Let's go see what they have. Days with Jordan the Lion and you all. It begins right now. Fantastic logo, right? And it looks like they're not open on Sundays, but other than that, you're good. Perfect. I love it as soon as you walk in. <laughs> you notice the sign up there. It's not Walmart. We accept offers. And they have a little bit of everything. <coughs> this is great. They have a whole wall of wrestling action figures, but my favorite was always the bucket bins and they have one here so you can go through and find all the old wrestlers ddp diamond dallas page roddy piper that's actually the roddy piper from uh when they made the masters of the universe speaking of brutus beefcake there's brutus beefcake hacksaw Man, I used to have all of these, all these Hasbros. Bray Wyatt, who actually passed away last year and was from this area. Lived in Brooksville, I believe. Look at all the stuff they have. I'm just kind of checking out a little bit of everything, mainly the stuff I'm into, but I'll show you guys a little bit of everything in case you want to come visit. The Godfather. Now over there, it looks like there's a bunch of signed collectibles, and like they said, you can make an offer, so that's kind of like the best thing you can hope for. Look, LJNs. Big John Stud. Actually, I do need Big John Stud. George Animal Steel. Here you can get a James Dean. At some point I'm going to do a vlog on the history of the Cabbage Patch Kids. That is a really crazy story. Really crazy. <laughs> now over here they have a wall of Funko Pops. Which that's a great deal because I'm already noticing that some of their Funkos are like limited edition ones. So some of them that might be out of, out of stock. I forget what they call it. Vaulted I think they call it. Some of them may be vaulted that you can't get anymore. So Stretch Armstrong. That's a good one. They have the Jerry Lawler. He, um, since his stroke, wasn't really signing autographs. He's just now started re-signing autographs. But he does it really, really slow. So they look a little different. Look at some of the old school collection they have over here. I'm loving this. Captain Lou, Superfly. This whole wall is all wrestling. In the package. That is crazy. All the way down to videos, artwork. There's Mr. Perfect down there. It's crazy. Ronda Rousey with her hot rod. Roddy Piper type shirt on. Old Ric Flair. Look at that. That's crazy. You can actually just go over to the bead shop and have Hulk sign that for you. This is the stuff I want to check out. This will be really cool. There's some more wrestling stuff. The chairs. You sit in the front row. They've got a couple of... That's the tag team belt and demolition. Was there. You've got some signed photos up there. Intercontinental belt. Magic Johnson signed basketball. A Fonzie signed jacket. Killer. Along with some... 
Happy Days action figures here. Fonzie. You can find Potsy quite often, but almost never anybody else in my experience. There's Richie and Fonzie both with Potsy. Speaking of the Fonz. Signed Jacksonville Jaguars. I bet that's signed by the Godfather. <laughs> that crazy hat, I would guess. Some wrestling statues here. Bushwhacker Luke has been here. Hogan. Signed boot. All these are signed. Joey Patone. That's all signed stuff. Rhea Ripley, Kevin Owens. There's a signed photo of PJ Souls, who was in uh, Rock and Roll High School. Signed Texas Chainsaw Massacre by Gunnar Hansen right there with a pristine auction. They're very legit, so you know it's it's real. Oh, that's an old Ken Griffey Jr. autograph. That is a Brutus Barber, the Beefcake Hasbro signed, so he probably signed that when he was here for that signing. And here we have a script of Christmas Vacation signed by Chevy Chase. $259. Sergeant Slaughter, he probably did a signing here too. In case you were looking for it. Hey, I heard they're doing a Gremlins 3. place has some great toys things that you may have missed out on over the years Elvira's House of Horrors is that like a female leather face that's new never seen that okay, there for oh welcome mats Great welcome mats. And then look if you look in the back, you can see all the wrestlers they've hosted. Because there's Hacksaw Jim Duggins. The one that I have is like probably like two of those combined. Bushwhackers. Medusa. Here we go. Found the AEW section. I kinda like that too. They separated the AEW from WWE. Kenny Omega, Darby. Oh, the special edition Cody Rhodes. Maybe I'll get that when he was in AEW. I was actually thinking of getting that one. $30, which is basically what, that's what I paid at the Mall of America, Toys R Us, for the Darby Allen one. The same, same uh, release. Hook. Another one of my all-time favorites. I don't really collect these as much because I had a lot of the originals. But I did buy a new Prince Adam a couple of years ago. And now I, I saw they recently reissued Moss Man. He always had a weird smell. <laughs> From the day you got it out of the package, it had this weird smell. When I was at the Toys R Us, everybody was complaining that they didn't have any Hot Wheels. So I'll show you the Hot Wheels they have here. I didn't realize that was something that was so collectible still. Tons of the McFarlane sports action figures. Look at that, Eric Gagne. <laughs> That's definitely an old one. Barry Zito. Arnold Palmer. All of this is Star Wars. For you Star Wars fanatics. Case of 1992 upper deck. Oh, well, that one comes with Claire. And this cup was just sitting up here and it's signed. Tom Kane. Mm. 
pays to look at everything. Over here in the case, they've got a corner pad, Pulp Fiction. Wow, well, I've never seen those. Pulp Fiction Barbies, basically. Inspector Gadget. Oh, look at that. All you need is Hulk. Signed by everybody else. Jimmy Hart, Brutus Beefcake. Hacksaw Jim Duggan signed 2x4s. <laughs> Looks like most of these figures are signed in there too. Scotty Too Hotty. These, these are all signed photos. Jake the Snake. Probably get a good deal on these. Yeah, these are all NXT. Bad Santa. Pretty beefcake. Ricky Steamboat. Are you lame in the original Jason? Wow, Bruce Jenner. Hmm. 170 bucks. Well, that's a great collection. Diamond Dallas Page, Buff Bagwell. I'm seeing football players, a little bit of everything in here. They must do a lot of signings. Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash, who wants to kill me? Yeah, he was mad that I went and showed where Scott Hall's grave was. He thought that was disrespectful. I'm like, what about all the people that go visit Elvis every year? X-Pac. Arn Anderson. Ari Lehman again is Jason one. Signed Revenge of the Nerds. I met those guys at Pensacola Comic Con last year. They were all cool. Demolition with the old makeup, the original makeup, the one that they made LGNs of and it's signed. That's great. They said the photos are 25% uh, off right now, too. Cheek the snake. Oh, John Tenta. There we get Transformers. Ninja Turtles. Lots of Ninja Turtle stuff. Here we've got a lot of the Marvel stuff. The X-Men. Wow, they really have a little bit of everything. Oh look, Tataka was here. Hey, who's hiding back there? <sighs> Looks like they had Tatanka here. Sergeant Slaughter signed it. Addie's Vintage Toy Universe. Here's a shield. Some UFC action figures. Some Kiss. My buddy, Eric Singer. Bob Ross. These would have actually been when Ace and Peter were still in the band. Slash. That's cool. Stan Lee. Marilyn Monroe. Alfred E. Newman. Owen Hart. And The Rock. These are called little people.
people also really complained that I didn't show any of the G.I. Joe stuff. I've actually heard that they were going to reissue the uh, Sergeant Slaughter. We'll see if that happens. They should reissue the fridge. Refrigerator Perry. Willy Wonka. I heard about these, but I'm not, I don't really understand why they mixed the Ninja Turtles and Cobra Kai, like what that was all about, but they did. So there's Miguel with Leonardo, then they've got Raphael and Sensei Kreese. You never know what you'll see. I'm just walking around a corner, I see the gargoyles, then I go, hey, Robocop, that was Sting's tag team partner. But then I look over here. Joe Exotic. Tiger King has his own action figure. Over here in the doll section they have Rosie O'Donnell, a Judy Garland, a Vanna White, and a Seize Candy. And when I mentioned I'll do a video on the Cabbage Patch dolls, it also involves this. The Garbage Field Kids were part of that. Here you've got some Ghostbusters stuff, some Ray. There's the Ecto-1. And then Peter Venkman down here. These are the real Ghostbusters, the cartoon from when I was a kid. Marshmallow Ray. Karate Kid Johnny. Oh, there's Schwarzenegger. What are these all for? That's Last Action Hero. Oh boy, Adam the Woo's gonna be upset that he's not seeing this. He could be doing voices from now till the time it closes. Get to Choppa! Get to the Choppa! Focus. For Adam the Woo, focus. Yeah, these are pretty much all different versions of Schwarzenegger. Where's Commando? These are dirt cheap too. These are only $5.99. That's another Schwarzenegger. I might get that one. <laughs> so I'm keeping in mind they said it's a 25% off also. So look, you've got the tick. You've got more tick. Mars attacks. Never see that. You've got Back to the Future Biff, Johnny from Karate Kid. That wall of wrestling figures is just unbelievable. <laughs> that is crazy. Really haven't even dove into that yet. And then a full wheel of Hot Wheels and cars. Look at that. I think that's a Larry the Cable Guy doll. It's a pretty big Voltron. You got another one over there. <laughs> a mini me, and he really looks like he could have been pretty close to the size. $279. In the box, though. Or Last Action Hero. That's the bad guy. Evil Eye Benedict, Dick Tracy, The Mask, oh that's wacky, the deluxe gift pack of the Flintstones, there's your John Goodman figure right there, and the Flintmobile, that's a huge display. Here are some of the die cast cars. Lots of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Lots of it. Different eras. There's Xena. Robin Hood. 
Indiana Jones. Sean Connery. 50th anniversary of the Smurfs. Oh, the Tick. Still in the box. Kind of moved around in there, but he's in there. Hacksaw Jim Duggan. The packaging is like an arcade game for RetroFest. Look at his outfit. It's great. <laughs> the amount of money that Hulk Hogan must make alone just in the release of action figures is insane because he probably has easily over a hundred figures out there. They are always putting out new Hogan's. Hey, there's China. Tatanka. Lex Luger with his NWO stuff. Savio Vega. You never see that. Owen Hart. That's weird. Owen Hart underwater siege character. What? Over here some sort of steel cage. Oh, it's like a controller it looks like. I have this. This Macho Man in the Ring. I have that one. That's crazy. Four Horsemen. That is a very famous match. British Beefcake says technically he was supposed to win the championship that night and they decided to make him ineligible to wrestle and substituted the warrior because the warrior was getting so popular. There's Raven in Impact. Mankind. I loved Mankind. That is a giant Shawn Michaels right there. A box of bootios. New Day. Another one of those weird marriages I didn't I don't really understand, but they made a Grayskull Mania ring that comes with a Triple H and a John Cena figure. There's a stack of old wrestling magazines. A couple stacks. Here where we've got some of the limited edition pickups. That's the Street Fighter version of Young Bucks Matt Jackson. Let's see who else they have. Looks like Kenny Omega and Nick Jackson. There's the Kenny Omega one. Dolph Ziggler on like a Lego cycle. Oh, that's really cool. That's the Fiend Bray Wyatt versus Daniel Bryan. And then there's Bray Wyatt as the uh, surfs up. This is kind of cool. The Rock and Sockos play back into the Rock and Mankind. But it's, uh, it's actually a shirt. You can see it says it's an XL shirt inside. Released by Funko. Looks like that's the shirt that you get. Not a bad shirt, actually. That's pretty cool, except I am not a uh, a rock fan, really. <laughs> not not as a wrestler. Look at all the cool, crazy stuff I'm finding. Family Feud, the game. I heard in that game, Richard Dawson jumps right out of the box and kisses you. School Betamax. Yeah, it's definitely a Betamax. Sesame Street. What an awesome store. A little bit of everything. I mean, literally, a little bit of everything that I collect. A little something for Scott Michaels. Tons and tons of McFarlane Spawn stuff. If you're looking for Spawn, I've seen people comment in the Mall of America video at Toys R Us complaining they didn't see any McFarlane stuff. Wow. <laughs> May Young. Ghetto Blaster. One of my favorite Transformers. Look, it's Chips the board game. Charlie's Angels the board game. Perry Mason game. That is another thing people are asking about. Games. Do toy stores collect games, sell games? This one does. I'm seeing a lot of Xbox. PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, Wii. Oh man, a Nasty Boy shirt. 
Stay nasty. Knobs and sags. Oh, that's cool. They have boglins. I loved those when I was a kid. These are actually what the originals look like. Like I remember that one. First edition. King Drool. Some Texas Chainsaw Massacre stuff. Sid Haig is Captain Spaulding. Oh, that's cool. Masters of the Universe take along tape player. You can record everything. Just get yourself some cassettes. Pretty good selection of the traditional superheroes too. Superman, Aquaman, Batgirl, tons of Batman stuff. Like there you can buy the cowl. Or like a cowl mask. Or the car. It's an actual Michael Keaton Batman. In the package. Godzilla. If you didn't see that new Godzilla, man, you missed out. That Godzilla minus one, that was great. It's a recorder. I think I'm going to pass on the Bigfoot Researcher Kit for today. It's a pretty gigantic Ninja Turtle right there. I think I got everything I'm going to get today. I'm going to go pay for just a few things. Well that place was pretty awesome. I had a feeling it would be and it did not disappoint. I loved that they had loose figures that you could buy for basically like garage sale prices. With it being 25% off, all those little figures that I had were all five bucks. So took 25% off each one of those, I ended up getting one for free. So thank you all for watching. If you're in Ocala, actually join their Facebook because they said they have a lot of signings with wrestlers here. They're friends with a lot of local wrestlers, like people that were big in WWE and WWF that have retired that live around here and they get them out here pretty frequently. So you can meet them. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great night and goodbye. Mm -hmm.